came here today to tell you a story. <clears throat> I got my first credit card at the age of 18, and um, probably six months later or so, I got the second one. Obviously, as you can see, I like to shop, purchase nice things, clothes, shoes, bags, and travel to great destinations. Therefore, there's no surprise that today I have several of these credit cards, and each one of them has its unique purpose. But uh, just a couple weeks ago, I actually have ordered my uh, fifth credit card, and I'm going to tell you how and why I have done it, and how they have convinced me to do so. Um, obviously, I'm a saleswoman, so I know all the tricks in a book. However, if I find or get a right personalized message, I do fall for it still. So let's see what do the markets say today. Last year, we have um, taken part in a comprehensive research about what effects buying decisions do have. And uh, we have um, actually came to realization that by end of 2020, a customer experience will overtake over price and product. And this is a really important factor. In the same time, Gartner predicts that B2B companies that personalize their sales and marketing will outsell by over 30%. This is a considerable number. That means that if companies don't engage in personalized messages, they will actually lose out on 30% of their potential revenues. McKinsey states that today, providing personalized messaging that actually are tuned to and even anticipate what customers really, really want enhances their lives. And with that, we have actually happy customers that engage with us better and we have loyalty from them. This is a special benefit, not just for the customers, but this is benefit for the companies as well. This can actually reduce your acquisition costs by over 50%, lift your revenues by five to 15%, and uh, uh, increase your efficiency spent in marketing by 10 to 30%. And these are great numbers. But let's see what our customers really, really want. We know that they are quite digitally savvy and they're quite, how do I say, demanding. So we have only a few seconds to engage them and attract them and get their attention. Provide something relevant and you have a happy customer. Provide something that is of too much, miss that mark of relevancy, and they are gone in a matter of seconds. Today we know that approximately 40% of customers will leave a site that doesn't have a relevant and great information for them. And that's a lot. So by personalization, uh, which means providing a tailored message and offering to customers that are based on their behavior, past and actual behavior, is a key today. This can be done through uh, digital experience platforms, which are easily available, and you don't even need to develop them. You just need to drag and drop your content and personalize it. And this way, you can also increase your sales. But let's get back to my credit card story, so how they have actually convinced me to get my next credit card. So as I was searching for my next travel destination, I came across a credit card ad with a free travel insurance. As we know today, traveling without an insurance is quite risky, so therefore, the insurance has resonated with me. But let's see how the bank knew about it and how they have done it. So as an anonymous user, I was actually browsing on my bank site for my next um, information, and I came across a very important article about uh, the best or most desired destinations to travel to. And based on that, based on my browsing behavior, my bank knew exactly that what I was planning to do. In this case, I was planning to travel. They didn't know who it is, I was still anonymous, but they knew my location. They knew I'm in Hungary. They also knew the device that I was using to actually access the site. In my case, it was a mobile. 
So based on these two informations, they were able to segment me as a person that is interested in travel. Let's see how I look like in their system. This is probably something similar to it. So what they have done, they have tracked my multiple visits. They linked it to me. And based on that, they were able to send me and personalized messages that related to travel. But what happens when I actually log in? So when I log in into my customer portal, additional information becomes right away available, like my age, gender, and obviously preferences. These are very important information. Based on this, we can even deeper personalize the message that we want to send to our customers. Here, by combining this anonymous browsing and my data based on my um, attributes and interactions, will create a specific knowledge for you about what are the products that I might be interested. So for example, you probably won't recommend a retirement account to an 18-year-old college student. That wouldn't really make sense. But uh, what are they doing with my data? I'm not supposed to know that, and I'm not supposed to see that. By the way, we know now that companies interact, to interact with customers, they do actually engage on many different levels, utilize many different technolog technologies, and also channels. Through these interactions, they actually collect all these data. However, I don't know if you know, but 90% of the data that we collect and we actually store, we don't use. And that's a big mistake. But let's get back to the bank, because obviously, for some reason, they have sold me this card. So they have, must have done something different with my data. So what I have done here, they have actually integrated my data with their current systems, backend systems, like their um, um, Salesforce, CRM, ERPs, or any systems available that they actually utilize to communicate with me. Through these systems, they're able to create those personalized messages and in the same time really see what services, products, or offers I would be interested. With this, they are actually overachieving my customer experience and in the same time uh, trying to sell me something that is actually might be beneficial to me and they will be able to increase their sales number. So this is very, very important. So by combining my anonymous browsing with my current data, like my attributes and my interactions, we can see here that they have quite a lot of information available with me. And with this, they are capable of specific, providing specific personalized messages to me that might be even interesting. I pretty much believe that the bank that have uh, sent me this, um, uh, um, I would say, the ad and, and the interest in, in the credit card will probably utilize the information up till now. The next level that we can actually utilize would be the utilization of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and also automation technologies. These technologies further allow us to actually gather and leverage all the data that we have. With all this data, we can now predict what customer we really want, and that's really, really big. We can also calculate the probability what purchasing uh, powers and, and um, interests they will have, group them by similar like-minded people, and with that, we can actually much better prioritize our reach outs to them. So now we have an entire mass audience or mass target audience that by um, analyzation of all this data, we can reach out to and make sure that we are getting the right information to them. And salespeople can actually concentrate on their human interactions that is actually still important part of the cell cycle. So by identifying these interests, calculating engagement levels, and grouping different products, 
we are actually able to identify those groups that are available or would be actually interested in upsell or, or cross-sell. And this is a great big number of potential uh, business for us. I mean, it's always easier to sell somebody that is already our customer than somebody really, really new. So this is a great benefit. Unfortunately, this won't happen right at the first time. Like, you won't be successful at the first time at it. You need to build it, prepare it, launch it, measure it, learn it, and improve it. This is a constant, ongoing, never-ending eight. And the more you do it, you better will be at it. Um, what I can recommend here to make sure that you always adjust your information to your client's needs and the trends that are happening in the market. Here I'm going to show you just a little glimpse of the system that we actually utilize in our case. Um, when a customer logs in, as we can see here, he's going to be able to right away receive those personalized messages that we have created for them based on the segments that we have uh, created. Here we have, in this case, again, the travel interest. So based on this travel interest, we have created a credit card form. So when you log in, you can actually right away even go and order your next one like I have done it. Here, you see how easily you can drag and drop and create your segmentation based on the criteria. And in our case, it was actually based on um, clicking or reading through any of the blogs or any of the articles that are related to travel. So just to make sure that you um, do what it's required in today's world, you personalize and at the same time you segment. And with that, you can provide the right message to the right people and at the right time. If you're going to do that, I tell you right now that you have a big chance to improve your sales numbers. <laughs>